Well, we have a way for families to warm up on Christmas Day, even if they're skipping the Christmas parties. We have Jennifer Sloan. She's a mom and lifestyle expert. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes, you do not have to throw a big party. You can throw a party at home with your own little ones. Hot cocoa bombs are kind of the rage right now. You, you know, they're like hard to find at Trader Joe's and Costco, and they're four or five dollars each. And when you do find them, they're full of sugar and junk. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own, have your own party, uh, and do it in a healthier way today. All right, let's go ahead and see it. What's the first step? Yes, yeah, so I found the like full sheets of silicone molds are kind of hard to find, but these are the ice molds. So if you go into like the baking or cooking uh, cocktail area, they're like the little molds for sphere um, ice molds. So you just, I'm using melted dark chocolate, find 60% or higher dark cocoa. And I'm just using my spoon to um, kind of paint the insides of these. You'll do this process two times. Um, so you're gonna create a shell, you're gonna pop it in the freezer and then do it a second time to make sure you get a really thick layer because you're gonna pop those molds out and they're gonna create these beautiful spheres. So the girls are gonna start filling up theirs. We're doing one cup of pure cocoa powder and one cup of coconut sugar because coconut sugar is a little bit lower on the glycemic index, so it doesn't give you that sugar high. A little bit better for you. And then you just, whatever mix-in do you wanna put, you can put, um, go ahead, you guys start and start your mix-in. But you'll see, now that I've painted um, this twice, they just pop out so easily. And then you've got this beautiful shell on the outside. So you don't have to worry about being perfect or clean or anything like that. And then um, here's the trick. Let me show you for closing them up. It's not hard at all. So you just, I microwave the plate for like 45 seconds and you can see, you just put the shell on the plate and it starts to melt beautifully. So once they have all their um, little shells mixed in and they have all their fun goodies. We did like chocolate chips, we did um, sprinkles and peanut butter cups and like whatever you want. So you just put the melted half on top and it kind of like creates this little seal. It's beautiful, you just hold it for 10 or 15 seconds. And then uh, I melted some white chocolate here. You can see and then you can just sort of decorate them if you want to. Just a little, um, you know, quick splatter, and they're so cute. And then while you have your hot uh, white chocolate melted, one of our favorite tricks, oh, sorry, why don't you use that one, is um, to dip your mug in your white chocolate, Ooh. and then, I know, into sprinkles. So just like you and I might like a salted rim, the kids like a sprinkle rim, and that is magic. And then you no, just I'm so your sorry, Jennifer. Off. We only have a couple seconds. Do you just pour yeah. hot milk over it and then it just kind of explodes yep, exactly. like a bath bomb? That's exactly right. <laughs> We're using Maple Hill milk because it is even better than organic, 100% grass fed. Mm -hmm. So better for your family, better for the animals. And you can see I pour hot milk over there and it's already starting to like melt and get gorgeous and yum. And then once you have that, you just stir it up and then you can put your marshmallows on, all your sprinkles, all of whipped cream. You know, I absolutely whatever you love it. Customizable hot chocolate. Well, we will have That's a link to the recipe on fox2now.com. Jennifer Sloan and her little elves, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.